Welcome to Sage Pastel Payroll's manual extraction using 7-zip video. A pastel payroll backup file will be in a zipped file format. This can be identified by various icons. Unless there was a manual intervention, the backup is automatically named by the payroll system and will consist of a company short name and if applicable, a system identifier. The company short name cannot be more than 8 characters. If you have the Advantage or HR module, each backup will have an identifier as well. The identifier will either be a P if this is a payroll backup or an H if it's an HR backup. There will also be a date range in the brackets that will state the date and time of the backup, as well as the monthly period the backup is in and what update the backup was made on. There might also be an auto if this backup was done automatically when doing a pay period update. How to extract the backup. Right click on a zip folder and select 7-zip. Then select extract files. The extract to screen will appear and the data path will default to the current directory. Make sure that none of the tick boxes are selected. If they are, please untick them. In the Extract To section, remove the dates in the brackets. Check if the P or an H is attached to the name. Remove this if it is not part of the name. Locate the backslash in front of the company name and remove everything in front of the backslash, so it will only read backslash company name. Now, enter the directory of where your payroll data is usually saved. On environments where there's only one machine, the directory will be the payroll folder on the C drive. So your directory will be called C colon backslash payroll backslash company name. Make sure to keep your company name at the end and then click on OK. Alternatively, the backup can be extracted by opening the zip folder, either by double clicking on the file or right clicking once and selecting open. Click on the Extract option. In this instance, the company name is not included in the extraction path. The name of the backup can be found right on top of the file screen. Once again, remove the data path, then enter the new data path and add the name at the end without the P and the date in the brackets. In this case, the data path will be entered as C colon backslash payroll backslash admin 20. You will see that the company name is still entered and it's the same as the one above without the P and the dates and the brackets. Click on OK to extract the files. Now you can add the company to the Pastel Payroll program. Open Pastel Payroll and click on File, Open. Click on Add Company. Click on Add Company again. The list of companies will display. Scroll through the folders and locate the one that has been extracted. Make sure that there is no dates brackets or a P identifier. Click on OK. The file open list will refresh, select the company and then open it. Thank you for watching our video. Reach out to us on our self-help platforms.